Hello everybody and welcome to my e-lesson. I'm your guru and today I'm going to tell you how to do special conditional formatting wherein we would highlight a cell based on a formula. Alright, now we have taken an example over here where these are the dates, these are the products that are being sold, these are the units that have been sold and these are the salesmen. Oh, uh, we, I, I happen to have the best salesmen in the world, all superheroes. Superman, He-Man, Batman, Spider-Man and Thor, Iron Man too. Alright. Okay, now I want to highlight the name of the salesperson wherever this date is true. Alright, say for example, if I choose 8th of May, then the person who did a sale on the 8th of May, his name should be highlighted. So how do we do it? So that's a trick. Now, to do that, we would have to understand that Conditional formatting works uh, on true and false options only. All right, it understands true and false. So let us try to establish the condition here itself in this cell, in this row, whether this when uh, is equal to this. All right, so that would give us true or false. All right, so is equal to this cell. We will fix it because we will be copying the formula down. So we will not like this cell to be uh, moving so we will fix it is equal to this cell all right so this is a false condition let's copy this formula down where is it true it is true over here right so that means if I give this formula to conditional formatting then it would find it either true or false and then would obey my command of coloring this cell all right let us see uh, let's copy this formula control C and select this range and go to conditional formatting and go to new rule and click on user rule to determine which cells to format now what is my formula this is my formula now see which is the active cell in this range this is the active cell see so I have to copy the formula which was which is in this cell because this is adjacent to it or parallel to it I cannot copy the formula which is residing here and put it here no this is a referential formula so I will copy I have copied the formula which is in parallel to this active cell and I'll put it over here now I'll format the cell say red click OK OK and see it's come I'll change sixth sixth is he-man tenth tenth is iron man and 12th is Thor even if I delete it it will still make no difference because the formula is now stored in memory all right now we can do it in one more way we can build in the formula directly into the conditional formatting so let's remove the conditional formatting simple select the range clears clear the uh, clear formatting from the selected cells that is how we remove it now let us build a formula ourselves select the range this is the active cell right the shortcut is alt o d new rule use a formula to determine which cells to format now my formula would be that this cell this cell should always be equal to this if that is sorry this cell if is equal to this cell then we should color the, uh, the cells over here as red the corresponding cell over here as red all right so I'll type in is equal to this cell see it's already locked is equal to this cell so this is also see locked from both the ends uh, the column and the row end so let's change that let's only lock the column because when we move the formula down when we, co when we copy the formula down which anyhow is getting copied we would like the rows to move 
the column should be C, but the row should be C5, C6, 7, 8, 9. So we will only lock the column. And let's choose the format, which is red is equal to, is equal to, okay, okay, and here's the answer. On ninth, we have Thor. On seventh, we have Batman. Well, this Excel file, I'm sure you would like to download it. Yes, it is available for free download on my website, myelisten.org. And until the next video now, this is your Guru signing off for the day. Have a wonderful day ahead. Happy learning.